<laughs> well, welcome hey. back on this Friday morning. Go ahead, take the whole thing. Feed the whole bunch out guys. there. Uh -huh. Let's quickly go over that weather forecast. Give them some yogurt. Umbrella. It's raining out there now, but we're hoping things are going to clear up. We've got a special needs rodeo around 10 o'clock, and then the big rodeo tonight. And Hartzell, don't forget, we'll be there, too. Um, hopefully yeah, tonight at 5 o'clock. High temperatures today of 80, tomorrow 77. After Sunday, it looks like no rain in the forecast for quite a while. So just enjoy some warmer, yeah. hotter temperatures. That's and have to get this out for, of course, Associates. Uh, Stan uh, McDonald and Associates, actually, when he sent this in, Jeff and Shear are going to be coming to the church. There's another part here. We'll be telling you more about that in just a moment. Easter's yeah. their last name. Hey, and don't forget, Bonnie and Lonnie <laughs> playing tonight in Harsels, the fourth annual cotton picking, barbecue, cook off, and fest. A lot of stuff going on this weekend, Stan. Yes. Good, yep. But let's talk about what's going on with McDonald and Associates. You guys are helping folks. Uh, one home after another, right? We now. are helping a lot of people in something really unique. Uh, a lot of people these days are underwater, as we've discussed. Underwater. A lot more than I ever thought. Yeah, yeah. it is. And uh, underwater simply means that they need to sell their house, but guess what? They owe more on it than it will sell for. And so it takes some specific negotiations through sometimes really a bureaucratic maze. And that's where we come in. And we come in in an extremely helpful way. It doesn't cost any money to come to. Uh, for, for us to talk. In fact, uh, it will really ultimately cost them no money for this to all work out. They can sell their house um, and, and have a good conclusion. But what's most people's um, standoffish, but maybe they're thinking there's some gimmick to that, because I hear these national people advertising all, they call this 1-800 number. Yeah. Stan and his company are, are local. They're located right there in Madison off Highway 72 on Slaughter Road. Mm -hmm. They can help you. Let's talk about it right now. You avoid bankruptcy. You avoid foreclosure. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting on you to pull it up, Brad, where I can show it right now. Yeah, there you go. Avoid bankruptcy. <laughs> avoid foreclosure. And I'm telling you, it's a short sale. They can do it. Help you out. I'm telling you. You got a church member. You got a family member. Somebody on your street. And it's an embarrassing situation, Sam. Right. Yeah, there's a lot of people with life circumstances that just happen. And they have to sell their home for whatever reason. And by the way, once a homeowner becomes proactive and starts working on this, Jamie and Gloria, we're in a time and place right now where lenders actually, they know there was a, a significant real estate decline. So they appreciate people being proactive. So while this is working out in process, very oftentimes homeowners don't even have to pay their monthly payments as well. Really? Oh, That's yeah. A I mean, relief on they that. really, if, it's, it's a nationally known deal for these lenders that it's financially to their benefit to cooperate with a short sale as opposed to foreclosure. They don't want any more houses. We talk right. to people sometimes who say, well, they just want to take my house. They don't. No. They, they don't do want it not back. want any more houses. And if someone will work with them in good faith, mm -hmm. going through the right processes in a positive, helpful way, then it can, it can, it, it can, it can work out. And that's yeah. what we specialize in all day long. You're also dealing with folks, uh, let's use Marmac, for example, the largest one over in Morgan County with 30-something agents. You also deal with other agents like with Greg's company also that are doing sure. a short sale. Y'all take that and well, they still get their commission. Absolutely. And in fact, I would say call your favorite realtor if you'd like. And, and ask, tell your realtor you saw us here on television. Right. And we work in conjunction with them, joint partnership. Most short sales we do, 80% of them, we're working in, in uh, teamwork with local agents. And a short sale is not an easy process. No. Agents are really, really, they really like using us mm -hmm. because it lets uh, your typical agent do the things they do best, list and sell homes, market right. homes, or we're doing the tedious process of sending faxes back and forth to Bank of America. Now, you guys just did a seminar yesterday. We did over mm -hmm. in Huntsville. We did about 50 or 60 realtors there. And we're doing one again today at Wenzel's at lunch in Huntsville. Good. And it's not and only it's, Bank of America. You work with all the oh, lenders. Yeah, sure. yeah. yeah, every single one of them. Chase, Wells Fargo, all day long. Now, you're doing one today at Wenzel's? At, at lunch, we are. Yeah, uh, any real estate agents out there are, and this is for agents, real estate agents. Any real estate agents are invited to Wenzel's today at lunch. Mm -hmm. So they're not giving up that listing of this uh, short sale? No, story. not at all. They're working, working in conjunction with McDonald and Associates. That's right. We do it in a partnership way. And most of them, when they hear what we do, they're very, very glad to have us on board helping them. Uh, McDonald and Associates, yeah. we go and I personally guarantee that y'all, they will do you a great job. Y'all call them, make an appointment. Because I guarantee you, somebody in your church, somebody on your street, a family member, or even you yourself, you're in a underwater home right now in our viewing area, they can help you. Stan, 
Let me change subjects right quick. Yes, sir. This gets scary. This, it does, is, this it? is what this is what sells. <laughs> no, the, there is a job. Out. There's a job available for you if you're looking. Hmm. Now, this would be a, a, a it, in line with what you do, right? And yet, it's totally opposite of what you believe in. Hmm. Here's the job available. Hmm. Got this oh, out there. It's from here. It says this is not a real ad, but it says this is what it would look like. Man or woman, preferably white, to lead major political party or what used to be major political party. Experience leading a staff, not necessarily, we don't have one, must provide on transportation, preferably SUV capable of holding files and office equipment because we don't have an office, must have flexible salary expectations and experience in stretching a dollar because we are broke. And according to Nancy Whirley, who I went to high school with, yeah. she says someone will step forward. They're trying to find somebody to take over the Alabama Democratic Party. Is that really oh, a little serious really ad? A serious ad in the What I lied to you? Executive director. Of the it state. says not real ad here, but I mean they printed yeah. the ad. I didn't make that right, up. Right. It says uh, somebody will take it. It says uh, they've got an executive board meeting coming up. The, they are broke. It's a hard job, a really hard job. It says here we have no staff, no office, and they got a debt of $600,000. She can't wait. You got to be a little crazy to take all that on, but yet they think somebody will come in and take the job. Mm -hmm. It said blacks didn't leave the Democratic Party, whites did. So, hmm. you, it, here, I'm not lying to you. I'm not making that <laughs> they don't up. Really say that they wanted a white person? My goodness. <laughs> well, are you interested? <laughs> <laughs> no. Huh? No, I'm not interested. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm interested in seeing what they're going to do. Yeah. But they're broke. I, I, I wanted to wait till Sheriff left before I said that because I knew he might slap me. Uh, but they, <laughs> Very well might. They're broke. Can't find anybody to take it. And just. It's a real well, bad. Well, you know, it's, uh, uh, I guess it has a lot of upward potential. Yeah. So you can't go make much it, farther make it down. positive. Make it positive. All right. Thanks again, Stan. It's always a pleasure to see you up here. Thank and don't forget, uh, Stan McGon Associates, get over there to them. Let's go right now to Barry Kayla, local and loving it on a Friday morning. We'll be back in just a moment. <laughs> Y'all, hang on. I try not to miss the Make a mark in time. I can't say the mark is mine. I'm only the underline of the world. Yeah, I'm like him, just like you. I can't tell you what to do. Like everybody else, I'm searching through what I've heard. What's my name? All in all, it's all the same. Everybody plays a different game. That is all. They live and then they die, searching for the question why. But if he tries to rule the sky, he will fall. Second on the nose, the humdrum of the city grows, reaching out beyond the foes of our time. Now we must try to break it down, do our best to reach the ground, to try to turn the world around one more time. Yes, we must try to break it down, do our best to reach the ground, to try to turn the world around. 